this home that we're about to walk through has a four car garage, has very tall ceilings, and has a view from the living room and the kitchen that looks out to this. Stick around for this walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here, realtor in Central Texas, back with another walkthrough of this inventory home called the 3860 plan with Perry Homes. The name of the plan is also the approximate square footage of the plan. This home has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, four car garage like I mentioned before and it has an amazing view off that living room kitchen the back patio which you can see through those sliding glass doors in the distance we will get there in a few minutes first I want to show what it's like to walk into a Perry home this is a one-story plan but it still feels very open because of the height of the ceilings and the space that's in every single one of their rooms and I often think this is overlooked. So we're looking at the study as an example. Uh, first off, great ceilings. The ceiling I do, do believe does change depending on the exterior that you choose. Well, it's what we call the elevation when looking at new construction homes. So if you recall that elevation had a little bit more of a uh, slanted roof uh, and that's what changes, I believe the height in that study. Uh, but these are the things that, again, I think are overlooked is, you know, study is something that if you're working from home, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in there. So what does that space feel like? How big is it? And some of the spare bedrooms are also things that I think uh, people overlook, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, this is gonna be a dining room that is opposite of the study. So they're both here when you first walk in the front door. That's why they have that light fixture in there. Uh, and this was formerly a model home. I wasn't able to get a walkthrough of it when it was uh, staged with furniture, but I do believe they have a 3D tour of that. So if you reach out to me, I'd be happy to provide it. We're going to walk out to the main living area. As you can see, we have a kitchen on the right side with an L-shaped countertop with that island on the inside. We will get back out to that, but I have to show this living room because take a look at the space. Again, this is a one-story plan, but it feels so open. I find people rule out one-story plans. They feel like it can't be open concept, but take a look at these sliding glass doors they have on the back wall and that view that you get when you go to the back patio. And these are stackable sliding glass doors, meaning I can move that door all the way over and just keep this wide open. And this is why I like Perry and I also like showcasing these homes because I have to tell you when you're out here, it's breathtaking. The idea that you could have a patio like this looking out to a view like you're seeing is absolutely incredible. We're in the Vintage Oaks community, which is located in the hills between San Antonio and Austin, Texas. There are amazing hills here. Even just north of this community, if you Google Canyon Lake, Texas, you'll see there's a, a, a lake in this area with lots of hills surrounding it. Uh, there are just hills running along the north side of San Antonio all the way up the western corridor of Austin. And I've had so many people now buy in the hills. I've put my drone up in the air to try to capture a view like this uh and we're always speculating on what that view look, looks like but when you see a lot like this and you imagine kind of building the floor plan of your dreams on here either way i think it's going to turn out really well uh because some of these lots are absolutely fantastic and that's the beauty of building from scratch you can imagine this coming together and when it does it is well worth it Coming back to the plan, we are in that living room area that looks out to the sliding glass doors. You can see they already have some uh, framing. I, I believe they're putting the, t the a TV up on the fireplace there, uh, which I like is centered in the living room area. I know it's tough to imagine with furniture here, but I, I think there's a lot of different options you can do here in that living room. And then let's take it back to the kitchen. Here's another look at that L-shaped bar top countertop. And I have to say, uh, some builders have gotten away from this. You know, they have just cabinets on one side and a bigger kitchen island. Perry absolutely has plans like that. But I like this. If you have a view on the back and we're going to see the primary bedroom in the back, a secondary bedroom in the back, they all have that amazing view. If you don't want your kitchen in the back of the home, having it in the middle of the home like it is right now, and then having that L-shaped countertop does keep things very open. And that's what I think is a pro of this plan. And then this is Perry showcasing what's possible with them. You got designer vent hood, you got two-tone cabinets. You might notice the bottom cabinets are navy blue. The top cabinets are an off-white color. You have a single basin sink here. There's just a lot of different things that I think you can do with Perry to really make it feel like a modern 
home uh, and with great finishes without going way overboard with budget. Uh, and th that's what I always find with a lot of my buyers who buy with Perry uh, is we're not incredibly surprised at design studio with the cost of everything. And I, I think there could be some other builders that do that with Perry. I think it's a much more tolerable at the design studio and the experience is therefore much better. Uh, getting back to the plan, that was the pantry, of course, right into the kitchen. Uh, we will open this door across from the butler's pantry in a second. Um, but first, I want to show you this the area, the butler's pantry between the dining room, which we saw previously. Those are the double front doors. And take a look at the ceiling. I, I think we saw that before. We mostly looked at the uh, cool wall design that they had here. And then on this side, we had a four car garage. Now, this can be dependent on the community that you're in. So don't quote every plan as having something like this. In this community, the lots are very big, so they can have side entrance garages. Uh, in that case, they have a side entrance four car garage. And then let's take a look at this uh, dining room or what they call on their website, a morning area, which as you can tell, when you have very big yards, you get views even uh, off of these homes where you, you have greenery in the back here, you have fantastic light fixtures. Uh, and then off of this dining area, we have a game room, media room area. Obviously when people say think media room, they think no windows, that would be more of like a traditional uh, media room. I, I think Perry calls that like a theater room. Uh, but in this case, they have the windows. As you can tell with the sunset for this specific lot really brings in a lot of natural light, which is fantastic. And that's a copier machine that was left over. It's the only piece of uh, furniture I guess they kept in here <laughs> to, to keep working out of the model home. Um, but if you can imagine that game room as a place to kind of sit down, hang out, uh, away from the main living area, away from the bedrooms, really great space to have right off that dining area. And then this is going to be the primary bedroom. Love this bedroom. I'm not sure if you can tell the size of it. And I hate to give dimensions because builders hate when I do that. These dimensions do change over time. And I don't want you to think that these are firm dimensions, especially when looking at buying a home. But get the feel of the plan. Get the possibility of the plan. Like, for example, if you get a, a view like this, this could be your view coming out of your primary bedrooms. You wake up every day. You put those curtains to the side and you see that amazing view and then you step into this primary bathroom and this is what i think perry does so well big primary bedrooms and then primary bathrooms that feel very spacious and i've had homeowners constantly walk some of their plans that are 2900 square feet they think it's 3400 or 3500 it's because of the amount of natural light that's coming into a bathroom because of those windows on the side having two closets in this uh, bathroom. And then when you first walk in, it's just kind of vanities on either side. The tub is the focal point. Your eyes get drawn in so many different locations that it just feels bigger than it probably is. And I always say is that it's not just for resale. Sometimes I talk a lot about resale with homeowners, but living in the home, if you're gonna buy a forever home, you're gonna live in it for 10 years, livability is important. And when your space feels bigger than it actually is, I find people are much more pleased uh, with their space that they're living in. Moving along here, we have the commode on this side and then the walk-in shower is on the left side of this bathroom. I like what they did here with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. I think they just cut up that tile to put on the floor so it all matches together. And I think that this is a great look. A lot of whites and grays in this plan, uh, in this specific model home, I should say. And, uh, and then I think the cabinets provide a little bit more of that contrast along with the framed mirrors and the uh, bronze colored windows. So many different things that you can do with Perry, but uh, I think these basic things of just kind of keeping your color scheme simple and then doing different things like hardware on the doors are, are dark, uh, dark frame mirrors, as I mentioned before, darker windows. These are all things that have a nice contrast on the home. Now this is going to be the secondary bedroom down. So I mentioned there's four bedrooms here. So this is going to be the bedroom with an in-suite full bathroom that also has that view. Uh, and this is what I love. This plan was made for a home that has a view because that's why they kept the kitchen a little bit more central in the plan. Uh, you have both of these bedrooms where when you wake up, you can enjoy that great view. 
Uh, and I think that this is a fantastic bathroom. If you have somebody especially staying with you long term, I always say in a lot of my videos, if you have parents who you don't want going up and down the steps and you want everything on one floor, uh, these are the types of plans that I think are great to explore. With that being said, Perry has a lot of two story plans where they all try to fit two bedrooms downstairs because they know that's what people really need in this type of market. Uh, even if you don't have parents staying with you, it's just having, it's nice having that second bedroom down. I've had a, a client who just had a, a baby after closing on their home. And it was great to have that second bedroom down because you need some sleep when you have a new baby, right? So it's great to just kind of have that separate area and you can use it for whatever you want. Of course, what we saw there was the utility room where they have a washer and dryer already set up. And then here we have the powder bathroom, which I think is a good position for it right off of that main living area opposite of the kitchen. Getting back to the front of the home, uh, we'll cover some of the bedrooms here. Uh, There's just going to be a closet on this side. I think it's always good to have extra storage space. And then we have a couple more bedrooms with another full bathroom here. And while we go through these, I want to take this time to mention that if you were in the market back in 2021, 2022, and you were looking at builders, you may have found that there were not a whole lot of options, number one, but number two, you couldn't really build from scratch. Uh, and the simple reason why is we had a massive supply chain disruption. We had a labor shortage. Then we had inflation. There were just so many variables being thrown in this industry of building homes that builders decided to just start building homes. They pick the plan. They pick the on the lot. They pick the uh, upgrades that are in here, design, structural, and then they sell the home while it's under construction. And they did that because they could predict what their prices were or they, they knew what their prices were without having to predict it if they sold the home while it was already under construction with all the materials already ordered for the home. Now, if you're watching this in 2023 or years to come, you'll find there are a lot of design options now. You can build from scratch, you can pick your structural upgrades, and it's such a rewarding process. It can be somewhat overwhelming at times because there's a lot to choose from, and there are so many different builders, so many different communities. So with that being said, if you are interested in real estate, reach out to me. My information's in the description of this video. I have worked with 27 clients with 17 different builders in a 12 month time period. And so I know the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to building homes. And I'm not afraid to say it, especially for my clients who hired me as a realtor. So if you like this model home with Perry uh, and you want to see another one, click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen and you'll see they have fantastic plans. And then if you've watched this video so far, like the video and comment below on what you liked about the plan. Did you like this kitchen as the L-shaped bar top uh, countertop? Do you prefer more of like a bigger island? Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. And as always, hope this helps. Take care.